Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I haven't posted in a couple weeks, but uh, I've been really busy with uh, work and uh, doing some uh, healing from a bad head cold that we both had, me and Sassy. And uh, of course we've been enjoying our above ground pool here. And I've been working on a pool heater and YouTube do the rescue as usual. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos and I think I came up with a pretty good solution, pretty inexpensive. And I'm going to show you really quick here uh, my solution to uh, heating this pool. Now, just to let you know, uh, this is a 20 foot Intex, uh, I don't know, top line XR, XL, or something like that. Uh, it's that one that's dark gray with the light gray around it. Uh, 48, 48 inches deep. I also did the uh, deck over there and a swim step. Uh, we'll show you another video how I did that. But uh, let me show you um, the heater that we uh, found. So this uh, is a propane heater. Uh, I got it on eBay for $110. It's a 18 liter model. Um, not really sure it matters, but um, it's got pretty decent flow rate. And um, it's propane. Now they have more expensive models that are natural gas or propane, but this one's uh, strictly propane. Um, and what's really neat about this is that it's off-grid. Um, it uses a compartment with two D-cell batteries right under here for the ignition source. And then, of course, it uses a propane tank with a standard uh, pressure regulator for its fuel source. And you can see right up under there. And um, I basically, I have this kind of a gazebo overhang on this part of my patio here that we built. And so what I did is I took some uh, uh, maybe 5 8 or half inch particle board, kind of sistered it up there, reinforced it, and then just mounted it to that. Now, the way you got to work this thing is that you got to get your own external pump. So I got this um, C flow pump here, and it's on right now. It's pretty quiet, um, and you can mount it almost any way you want. Um, it's kind of rubber mounted. Um, and it comes with this strainer that you put on your suction end with a couple plastic fittings and it's just all hand tightened. So I use a standard RV water hose and you cut the end of it and then just use a stainless steel hose clamp on either end. Now, I, uh, the water intake is just a regular garden hose spigot here where I've used a few, uh, PVC fittings here to get it to fit up uh, on the intake side. So essentially, make more sense if I show you, but I have a intake hose that's essentially just in the pool there, okay? And then I just have it snaked over here and it goes right into the suction side of the pump and then comes out here and uh, at about a four, three and a half to four gallons per minute rate, um, feeds the tankless hot water heater. Um, and then it comes out, I use the shark fittings and pe half inch PEX uh, because they're rated for high temperatures and it's rigid. And I essentially set those up right up over the edge and it just goes right into the pool um, right next to the return uh, jet um, and um, right now I'm getting about um, 130 131 degrees Fahrenheit out of this uh, which is about uh, 55 degrees Celsius uh, there's different settings here um, and I found a pretty decent flow rate that suits us and um, the 
pump seems to like it. And, uh, and so far, so good. So um, this is the first time I've set the system up like this for, for an entire day to test it out. Um, but from what I understand, it'll give about a degree rise in temperature about every hour. Um, and the ambient temperature here where I live uh, today, which is a mid-September day, is about 65 degrees today. So I'm expecting the uh, ambient uh, temperature of the water to go up at least another 10 degrees by tonight. Um, and uh, because of the sun and everything, the pool temperature is actually about 72, 74 degrees, which isn't bad, but I'd like to get it closer to about 80 for some nighttime swimming. Um, so anyway, so that's basically the, uh, the mechanical part uh, and the plumbing of my heater. So let me show you the electrical. Now, of course, this is running on 115 volt and it does come with a three prong cord and over here by my Intex sand filter I've got what I'm running is this digital timer okay and if you can see on here I'm not sure if you can see that it's counting down from 17 um, 17 minutes um, because there's a timer on that tankless hot water heater and by the way it's really used for showering you know when you're out in a stable and you got animals to shower to wash you know it provides you some uh, instant hot water uh, tankless instant hot water all you need is a is a uh, fuel source of propane uh, it even comes with a shower spigot and stuff which I don't need um, but it has a safety feature that turns off after about uh, I don't know, 18 or 19 minutes or so. So um, it has to be off for a few moments. Uh, and then um, it detects the water flow. So what I did is I put the Seaflow pump on this uh, digital timer. And it runs on a continuous countdown. So um, you can see on the top there, the current time is 14.37, 2.37 p.m. And it's got 10 minutes left on this cycle. It goes to zero and then shuts off for about one minute and then comes back on for 17 minutes. Um, that basically resets the safety switch there uh, and the D cell batteries reignite it uh, when it detects the water flow. It automatically shuts off and shuts the propane off when it detects a uh, minimum flow or no flow of water um, so uh, there you go um, I like it now they make this model in a natural gas and uh, which I've ordered and uh, I'm gonna compare the two eventually but I have a little stub out way over there on my wall it's a quick disconnect for natural gas and it's basically a barbecue hookup and uh, I'm gonna try this uh, the natural gas version uh, and see if it uh, makes any difference. Um, it should definitely be cheaper because propane can get expensive. $20 for an exchange on a tank like that at Lowe's. Um, and um, I hear that really a propane tank that size will only last about a 24 hour period, but natural gas much cheaper and it's almost unlimited. Um, at any rate, uh, that's my setup and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, go ahead and comment down below what you think of this. Any questions uh, you have, I'd be uh, happy to answer all your questions and I'll try to leave links in the description uh, with most of the stuff I used. Take care.